In today's viewer suggested video from Connor McLaughlin, I'm going to take a look at a forgotten tiki classic, give you a primer on the man who invented it, and tell you why this cocktail maybe should have stayed in the forgotten annals of history. The Chi Chi on today's episode of Mike's Hard Reviews. Hey there, hi there, ho there, my name is Michael, welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews. I forgot to put these chairs out of the set, so I'm gonna move these real quick. I'm so good at my job. Welcome back to Mike's Hard Reviews, my name is Michael, I am a bartender and uh, mixologist from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and today we're gonna take a look at a tiki cocktail, the first, I think, of the show's history, uh, invented by none other than the forefather of tiki culture. And before we talk about the cocktail, I wanna give you a primer on the man who invented it. Don Beach, who was born Ernest Gantz in 1907. In his adult life, Ernest would go on to rename himself to Don Beach after his own bar's namesake, actually, and sort of completely and totally in, in, you know, in competition with other members of uh, the mixological world, invent this popular drink culture, subculture rather, that is called tiki. It's sort of an ersatz, kitschy uh, appropriation of Polynesian culture, uh, and it's not a particularly progressive thing, but it was very, very popular and did allow Don to make some of the best cocktails that have ever been invented ever. You know, the QB Cooler, the Mai Tai, and today's cocktail, the Chi Chi, which you may actually know as the Macadamia Nut Chi Chi, which is what it was originally uh, declared as back when it was first invented. Now, there's not a lot of great history documenting the history of the Chi Chi. Uh, as it would happen, uh, we know it is a pina colada variation, so it comes at least after 1954 when that was invented. It was popular mostly through the 70s and 80s during the dark ages of cocktails, and if that gives you any notion about how good this is going to be, um, there you go. But there's not much aside from that. There's not really uh, a time, a place, a uh, period of inventing it. Um, aside from it actually losing ingredients over time. You see, the Chi Chi is originally known as the Macadamia Nut Chi Chi, and it comes about in the you know, late 50s, early 60s. And it has this very particular ingredient in it, a macadamia nut liqueur. Now, back in the day, this was not a common thing to find. It was actually kind of rarefied in that way. And that's what made the Chi Chi stand out from other cocktails in the Tiki Pantheon. It had this very unique flavor and unique ingredient that made it different from, like I say, a traditional pina colada. Well, the problem is that Unfortunately, it was really hard to find. So eventually it gets taken out of the recipe in its entirety and is instead just reworked, the cocktail is just reworked without it. Meaning that a Chi Chi becomes then uh, a combination of pineapple juice, cream of coconut, and of all things, vodka, which is very, very uncommon for tiki drinks. If, now, if that sounds like a pina colada to you, but worse because there's no rum in it, yeah, it's a pina colada, but worse because there's no rum in it. <laughs> and it's a really fascinating, a really fascinating kind of like miss, like dropped ball by Don Beach, which is a really rare thing because most of his cocktails are really well known and really popular and really good even by today's mixological standards. Like cocktails like the zombie, for example, are like really, really well known and really, really loved. Yeah, without much more to discuss, honestly, um, I guess I should just say that Don Beach will eventually get his own episode because this isn't really the best place to talk about his art and legacy in doing what he did. So let's talk about making the cocktail. <laughs> Not going to need very many specialty ingredients, but there are some that you will probably have to procure one way or another. The two things you really have to consider here are your pineapple juice and your cream of coconut. Um, now this pineapple juice, I actually made myself. I took some, you know, pineapple spears from the store and made them into juice by blending them and straining out all the pulp. That's gonna be your best option. If you can do that, do that. If you can't, you can't, that's fine. Um, I had the time for it and for, actually forgot to buy bottled uh, pineapple juice at the store, so that's why I did that. <laughs> that's gonna be, I mean, your best way to get a nice high quality pineapple flavor, so go with that if you can. As far as your cream of coconut goes, this is actually a homemade one that I made with two parts sugar to one part coconut milk. I'll put that in the recipe down, I don't know, the recipe in the description down below. This is going to be less sweet than a store-bought one like Coco Lopez, which if you look at how the bricks rating comes out, which is how you measure sugar, um, this is a lot less. Cream of coconut is really, really sweet, and you're doing yourself some favors here by not introducing too much sweetness, which we'll talk about once I have one of these cocktails to sip for myself. That said, let's go ahead and make ourselves a Chi Chi. 
We're gonna start with our cream of coconut. We're gonna add one ounce of that to our shaker. We're gonna come behind that with three ounces of the freshest, highest quality pineapple juice you can procure. And finally, one and a half ounces of the nicest quality vodka you could possibly find. I am using Stoli 100 proof today. Uh, I don't normally use Stoli. Um, I don't like Russia, by the way. I wanna make that known. Um, fuck Russia, especially right now. Uh, but uh, honestly, you wanna go for something that is, you know, generally speaking, higher proof and high quality. Um, if you can find it, I would actually recommend Spir Smirnoff's 100 proof varietal. But if you can find like a really nice, like high, high top shelf, like elite class vodka that is just really smooth and very, very neutral, that's your best bet here because you really don't wanna add any cheap vodka character to this cocktail because it will shine through considering there's so little going on in here. Can get like Crystal Skull Vodka or something and then make that part of the showmanship of making the cocktail. You pull out the Crystal Skull and you know, whatever. That is all our ingredients. Let's go ahead and add some ice. As is the case with any shaken cocktail, I'm going to do one whole cube and one cube cracked. We will cap that up, tap that down, and give that a shake to chill and combine for about 10 seconds. Oh, almost lost that one. One more time. There we go. Now, I, you could serve this in a highball glass or a large lowball that has like tiki design on it. I actually prefer a hurricane glass, which I think this one's better if you're better suited to making this as a blended drink because it's so thick, but um, it will work just fine. We'll fill this up with plenty of smaller ice. And then before we actually add our cocktail, I'm gonna start by getting our garnish down in there. I've got a pineapple spear here, which is more or less the kind of the kind of garnish you wanna go for with this drink. A spear of pineapple as a treat after you finish the cocktail, I think, is gonna be just 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 fine. Assuming you can get it in there. Just 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 dandy. <laughs> Uncap our cocktail and pour that through a fine mesh strainer into our glass. Now that's actually where the sort of construction of this cocktail ends in a written sense, but I like to take it one step further to make it a little bit more you know, tiki, so to speak. The pineapple being shaken has put a nice little ring of foam on here. So what I'm gonna do is take some Peychaud's bitters and just do a couple of drops on top here for some fragrance. And then because it complements the sort of color of the Peychaud's and then kind of helps boister out and kind of fill the whole fruitiness of the cocktail, I'm gonna add a couple maraschino cherries. Just get a couple of those onto a cocktail pick. Rest those next to our pineapple. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is a Chi Chi. I won't lie, it's kind of a sexy looking drink. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of sexy. All right, with our cocktail finished and our station cleaned up, let's go ahead and throw a straw in here and give our Chi Chi a taste. Cheers. Oh, <laughs> shit, okay, I might, I might stand a little corrected. I, I've actually already shot this video. This video has, has technically been done before, uh, but I did not release it because I filmed it while I was sick and it was a rambling, unorganized mess that I wasn't really confident in producing. It was something that I sort of put onto the back end of another large project that I'm postponing for the Sorry, there's a gnat in here. <laughs> it was on the back end of a larger project that I was, I, I am also postponing for the time being. And when I made it, I used canned dole pineapple juice, which is definitely the problem with this cocktail, now that I think about it. Using fresh pineapple juice gives this still not enough acidity, I think, to really be perfectly balanced, but it does give it enough of a raw, natural, and fresh flavor that I don't feel like it needs any additional uh, sort of, sort of acidity to, to bring it together. Because that's the, that's usually what people consider to be the problem with pina coladas and pina colada variations. It's that pineapple juice making up so much of the body of the cocktail doesn't really have enough acidity to balance the cocktail correctly, especially when you use something like Coco Lopez, which is, again, sweeter than the cream of coconut I'm using in here. The homemade cream of coconut and the fresh pineapple juice really are making a huge difference here. Uh, and they, they really do actually, in this case, cover up some of that kind of cheaper vodka flavor you get in just out of really poor quality vodkas. 
Not that Stoli is a poor quality vodka, but like, but I made it with the Dole pineapple juice. I could taste it. I actually don't taste it here. I, I actually can, can barely tell there's any alcohol in this to begin with. It's rich and creamy and sweet and still desserty, but not to a point where I'm like, ugh, about it, you know? It's actually, it's actually pretty good um, because they're not adding as much sweetness and we've got you know, a nice long body, a lot of aeration, giving it this good texture and the vodka is not adding anything, but it, it is helping pull some of that sweetness back too by just lengthening the cocktail out without adding any. I, I oh God, I stand corrected. This is <laughs> shit. <laughs> I sort of predicated this video thinking, oh yeah, I'm gonna talk about how I made this already and that it wasn't particularly good. Um, but but no, I'm, I'm wrong actually. It's, it's pretty satisfying. It's not the best cocktail on the face of the planet. I think it would benefit from a little bit of acid or some bitters or the impact of rum here, something. But but no, that's 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 actually super, super good. And if you're, if you're like me, and you don't really have any plans coming up this holiday season and you want to like get away, so to speak, this is a fucking phenomenal way to do it. This is like like a holiday in in the tropics in a glass. Uh, and I, I absolutely love it, actually. Very simple, very approachable. Um, I admit, I wish there was rum in it, and I kind of wish I had thrown the Peychaud's into it when I shook it, because then it'd be orange and pretty and and to taste different. But you know, hey, I think that's, that's a, that's a, Good job, Don Beach, I stand corrected. <laughs> and thank you again to Connor McLaughlin for suggesting that I'd make this video because I didn't, I had heard about the Chi Chi I think once before from a Booze in the Rocks video that is actually linked in the description down below. And my thought then even was like, oh, that's gonna be trashy if you're making it with like store-bought, you know, store-bought cream of coconut and store-bought pineapple juice and cheap vodka. Kind of like how I would imagine it would be made back then. <laughs> it turns out actually, no, it's, it's robust, so thank you, Connor, for for make, giving me an opportunity to learn about this. I appreciate it. Well, that's really all I've got for you today, so we're gonna go ahead and do our reading from Crisp Toast. I do believe we actually finished the adolescence section in the last episode of the show, uh, and as a matter of fact, we did. So we're moving on to the section entitled Inve Adventure, uh, and today's reading goes as such. A health to the man on the trail tonight. May his grub hold out, may his dogs keep their legs, May his matches never misfire. A quote from one Jack London. Cheers. There's an adventure in all of us. And this, this is a cocktail for someone who wants to adventure from their couch. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Mike's Heart Reviews. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button down below and subscribe to catch the next episode. I make one of these episodes every single Friday, uh, except when I've been sick lately because cold and flu season kicks my ass every year. But, uh, but I also sometimes do them on Tuesdays as well. So if you want to know whenever I'm making content, go ahead and click that bell icon down below and you'll be told directly when I do that. You can also follow me on my socials that are either appearing on the screen now or have been on the screen for a second. I don't really use any of them. I'm getting back into doing TikTok. I'm trying to do TikTok three times a week. I'm trying to do YouTube Shorts three times a week. It's killing me a little bit, but hey, you know, the, the them's the breaks. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys around. Please remember to drink responsibly and have a good rest of your day. Cheers. Bye-bye.